Welcome to the Sunshine State and my glamorous extended stay suite. Uh, it's modest, but it's temporary until they work out my housing. But it led me to the age-old question, what do you do when life hands you lemons? I'll tell you what I do. I eat them. When I travel, there are certain things that I need that are essential to me and how I live my life. A good knife is essential. I pack it in my luggage. A good flexible cutting board, can't live without one. I always pack a small saute pan, uh, a pepper mill, uh, a grater. I won't list all of the things because you'll think I'm insane. But a knife and a cutting board, can't do without them. As you can see, I went to the farmer's market today, but let's talk about lemons. The first thing you really want to do is really use that lemon skin. It's so good. I zest lemon on blueberries. Delicious. Nothing enhances some blueberries like some fresh lemon zest. Blueberries, also very good for you. And you can zest a lemon frozen or fresh. I pop a few in the freezer so I always have some on hand. Oh, it smells so good on fresh yogurt on ice cream. Of course, it's perfect on smoked salmon, on cooked salmon. It just freshens the whole thing and you get that essence of lemon without the bite of the sourness of it. Be careful not to get too close to the pith because that's where it gets kind of bitter. Lemons. Here's how I start my day every day. After years of drinking coffee with milk and sugar, I decided to follow a friend's advice when I thought I had a kidney stone and start drinking lemon water every day. If you don't have time to boil, nuke it for two to three minutes and you're ready to go. Cut your lemon in half and stick that fork into the meat and turn and twist and you'll see all of that delicious lemon juice pour right into your hot water. I had a caterer once say, Michael, you can cover all of China with the juice of one lemon. Now, I have been known to exaggerate myself, but that is a bit of an exaggeration. The other thing you want to do is once you finish that, get your th fingers in there and squeeze out what's left of it. The oil on your hands feels so good, but you want to rinse them real quick. And then I got to tell you, there is nothing that smells as good. Oh, I mean, nothing smells as fresh and as clean as fresh lemon juice and oil on your hands. I just love it. For you more advanced culinary experts, I do travel with a reamer. And that is a great way, without getting the mess, to really extract all of the juice. Just push it in and turn the lemon counterclockwise while you're turning the reamer clockwise and in about seven to eight turns, you will see you have gotten everything out of that lemon you could possibly get. Look, food fads come and go. One day eggs are good for you, the next day they're bad. Dark chocolate's great for you, the next day not so much. Drink a glass of red wine every day. No, don't touch the red wine. The one thing that never changes is lemon. Lemons are always good for you. I mean, the list is endless. They're good for sore throats. They're good for shrinking kidney stones. Believe me, I can attest to that. Uh, they reduce your blood pressure, your stress level. They promote a healthier liver. Uh, they aid your digestion. Some say they benefit weight loss. They, uh, it's even been known to possibly cure certain cancers, which I know sounds crazy, but look, whatever helps. They are loaded with vitamin C. They are loaded with minerals, including potassium and zinc. What's not to like? They're, they're great for your skin. I mean, look at me. I'm 97 years old and it tastes really good. And if it's too tart or too sour for you, a squirt of honey will do the trick. When life gives you lemons, forget the lemonade. Who needs all that sugar? Eat lemons. Drink lemon water. Try it. Oh, it's really good for you.